welcome to our first video. So today we will be making this cheesy, cheesy rice bake. And remember the full ingredients and measurements will be listed down in the description. So let's go. Hey y'all, it's your girl Polish CEO, aka Vegan Chef CEO. Today we will be making a, a veggie rice bake. So I originally wanted to do stuffed bell peppers, but I didn't want to order so many bell peppers and so I changed my mind and I was like, you know what? I can do like a bake, a rice bake. So here is all of the ingredients that I will be using today. All of the measurements will be linked down in the description. Make sure before we hop into this recipe, this good vegan recipe, y'all, to go ahead, like this video, subscribe to the channel so you can get more vegan recipes out to you guys. So let's get started. Oh, okay. First, we'll be starting by getting a pot and we're gonna go ahead and put on the bell peppers and onions that will be for the yellow rice. So add your butter and your bell peppers and onions. I have frozen to a pot and let that cook on medium low. Then we're gonna go ahead and wash our rice. So I'm using brown jasmine rice and I'm using two cups of it. This is my favorite rice because if you do not know, jasmine rice is amazing. The brown rice, of course, is a little bit more healthier. So we're gonna just wash Wash the rice and make sure that you're washing your rice good and you know that it is clean and ready to go when the water is clear. going to take a spoonful of garlic and add it to the peppers and onions and turn it down low. I just turned the heat back up on this so now I'm going to go ahead and add all of my seasonings. So to this we are adding turmeric, garlic powder, paprika, chili powder, and a little bit of Himalayan salt. Then we're going to stir it. Now we're going to add the washed rice to it. When you're stirring that rice in, make sure to get every grain color, okay? It'll turn yellow to make sure everything is coated in that good seasoning mix and blend that we just added to this pot. All right, so once you got all of your rice coated, we're gonna go ahead and add the veggie broth to the rice and we're going to turn the fire up on this thing all the way up to high and let it come to a boil. Next, we're gonna grab a skillet for our veggies. So the pan that I just put on the stove, we're gonna go ahead and add some butter to it. And I do have it on kind of like a medium low. So we're gonna add a little bit of butter to it. So once we cut these up, we can go ahead and put them in there. Cut the ends off of your zucchini and squash and then we're gonna slice them. So once you get it completely sliced, we're gonna slice them again into dice pieces. So stack them up just a little by little, cut down the middle and then turn and cut two more times. As you get them cut, go ahead and add them to the butter. Those are all chopped, add them to the pot. And we're also gonna add some portobello mushrooms and we chop those up as well. And we're gonna season with oregano, basil, and black pepper. Mix it up really well and then we're going to turn the fire down low and let that thing simmer, okay? Next, we're gonna add the top to the rice, turn it down to let it simmer as well, and then go ahead and pop those steamable broccolis into the microwave for five minutes. 
Once those veggies cook down about midways, you wanna set them aside and then we're gonna put the pot back on the stove to make the cheese sauce. Now, after you have set those veggies to the side, go ahead and add your Himalayan salt. For this yummy cheese sauce, we're gonna add the plant cream to the same pot that we had those veggies in. Go ahead and add your cheese. I'm using two types of different cheese. It makes it extra creamy. And then we're gonna get a fork or you can get a whisk and just whisk it all together to make a creamy sauce. While we're letting that cheese sauce simmer and cook down, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400. Once that sauce is looking really cheesy, we're gonna add the veggies back in. Then we're gonna add the broccoli in there as well. We're also gonna season it up with some onion powder, some garlic powder, a little bit of salt, some plant butter, black pepper, oregano, and some basil. Once we get it seasoned to our liking, we're gonna go ahead and mix it and mix it very, very well. Once it's mixed and looking cheesy, we're gonna go ahead and add the rice and then stir that in as well. Make sure to get all of that good cheese sauce covered over every grain of rice and every veggie. So I've lined my pan in some foil and I'm gonna take my stick of butter and just rub it onto the foil. So that is what the pan is looking like, all nice and buttered. And then I'm gonna put the mixture down in the pan. So now that we have the rice down in the pan, we're gonna go ahead and just top it with cheese. We're gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of paprika. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. So since that's in the oven, now we're gonna go ahead and just make our boiled corn. And I'm just using like a regular can of 
kernel corn. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it and then put it in my pot. And this is all we'll be using to season the corn. So now we're gonna go ahead and cook the rolls. So I already have my pan buttered up here, covered with foil. And these are the rolls that we're gonna be using. So once you get them open, they're pretty much just like regular crescent rolls. You just roll them up and bake. Fresh out of the oven. This is what the cheesy rice bake is looking like. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a spoon out so you can just get into this goodness of that inside because it is creamy and delicious and very, very flavorful. Nothing beats homemade yellow rice and some good veggies, okay? This is what my plate is looking like. The whole meal was absolutely amazing. Let's just take a moment of silence and look at the goodness. All right, you guys, so the food is ready and I'm so excited and so ready to eat. You've already saw what my plate is looking like and so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a taste test because I already know it's good. Oh my goodness. Mmm, mmm. Y'all, this food is absolutely amazing. Make sure to try this recipe. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the like on this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'm about to eat, baby, because it's too good, okay? See y'all in the next video.